So what we've got to do now is we've got to try and um, get these drawings onto our canvas. And so one of the things we want to do is there's a lot of information here and there's a lot of, there's a lot of space around this. So one method you can use is to actually narrow it down. And the way we do that is we, we create what's called a window frame. So we'll just go to the next page in our process diary and we tear a page out. Um, you should use a pair of scissors, but I'm just gonna, <laughs> I'm just going to use a knife. Um, and uh, probably it's a good idea to probably just take that little bit of take that take that off. Um, and I basically I don't want to make it too small. I, I can actually see through this paper and I can see where my drawing is, and I think it's going to be about three fingers space right around. So all I do is um, I fold my paper in half like this and I have a pair of scissors here so it'll, it'll, have, it'll have to be, let's, let's pretend I've got a pair of scissors and I'm chopping away but I'll just do it with the knife um, which is you know a little more scary but here it goes so I'll take about that much out and I've created a, a, a window frame which I can then put over the top of my drawing And I can isolate sections of my drawing. So it just kind of removes all that edge and it crops it a little bit. And you can move it around too. Like, look at that straight away. If I look at that, this was a bird, this was those drawings, they were meant to be that way, right? But if I if I do that, straight away I've got <laughs> I've got a land, I've got this instant little landscape. It's a really great little device. And don't waste this one make another one make sure you cut it the right way by the way otherwise you'll end up with an H so um, an H shaped thing so fold it pay attention pay attention to what you're doing um, again you don't use a knife I'm using a knife but um, just use a pair of scissors and you've got a little one because you might even find the little one even more useful in isolating a section I love that it looks like a little landscape so you know I might, just, I might just grab the camera and uh, I'll just show that to you. So, if we have a look here, there's our, there's my drawing, which is meant to go that way, of course. But it, as soon as I isolate it, look what happens when I isolate it and go this way. It's like a little Japanese landscape, and this little line here. I'm, now I'm gonna I'm gonna start messing about with you know where does this go where am I I create create my own little my own little world with this thing let's try another 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 drawing I might use a small one this time I'm, and I'm focusing on what's here like try to ignore try to ignore that and just you know. What's going to work? Because that's going. To, we're going to then put that onto here on the canvas. So when you've got that, just get a couple little bits of sticky tape and stick it down, and um, we'll go. We'll go ahead and I'll show you how to get it up onto the painting. All right. So I've made a decision, and um, I'm going to go with um, a window frame over this section. You've noticed I've set it at a bit of an angle. It doesn't matter if you set it at an angle. But um, hopefully, you know, you can see that I've set that. It doesn't, don't, don't, don't be locked into, don't, don't be locked into going, oh, I must do it straight. You can do it at an angle. So what I want to do now is I want to get this image onto here. That's, that's, that's basically the, the exercise now. I've got myself um, some water. I, I like a big bucket of water because I'm, you know, in the art room at school, um, we have sinks and everything, but you know, I'm at home, so you've got to adapt. Um, what I do is I save these constantly because they're really handy um, for little, for you know, little water containers, little paint containers. You might mix up a, a particular colour that you really love, and uh, look at that, boom. There's your special turquoise your green that you've made up or something. I've got my. Uh, drawing here I've got my um, picture frame over it 
So I'll just grab all my charcoal. Where is all that? It's all here. So I'm just going to chuck all that there on my on my setup. Uh, grab some water. Um, got a collection of brushes. Probably don't need that many. There's probably a, bit, a few too many. And I got a stonking great blob of white paint. So I've got my drawing here, and uh, I've got my stick of charcoal. And um, let's see if I can't sort of come up with some sort of system of how I'm going to. You know, I've got this. It's a pretty. It's a, it's a good sized piece of canvas, you know? Um, how am I gonna, what am I gonna do? Well, one of the things I'm going to do first is I'm gonna divide my uh, page, my frame, into, um, into some sections. So I'm gonna go, right, well, there's halfway, and up here, I'm gonna do halfway as well. And down here, I'm gonna do halfway, halfway across, and, Got a halfway point there. Okay, got that. I need to create a corner of paper so I can um, draw this a quarter of a quarter of a page at a time. I'm going to fold this in in half, and then I'm going to fold it in half again. And you can see my my lines. I'll just quickly cut it. Might take me a sec. I've got this L-shaped piece of paper. So I've got my I've got my L-shaped piece of paper. And uh, I'm just going to section off a quarter of the drawing. The top quarter. I'm going to come up to my canvas and sort of halfway along, I'm going to put a little mark. Then halfway along down the bottom, I'm going to put a little mark. But I might kind of just very lightly, like ever so lightly, put that, put that line. You can barely see it. If I move in on it, you can see it. It's super, super, super light. All right, but it's, you know, I'll be able to rub it out. Okay, let's do the same on the side. Sort of gonna go about there, and I come over here. And I'm holding the charcoal like this, right? I'm not, I'm not holding it like a pencil. I'm holding it quite loosely, okay? I'll come down here, and I'm gonna do the same. Just put a bit of a mark across. Okay, so I've got a, I've got a, when you step back, you can't really see it, but when you move in, I've got this, Really super, that one's actually a bit dark. Really super pale line. What I've got is I've got this quarter of a draw, quarter of my drawing. I'm actually going to divide that up again as a way of sort of, you know, I'm making this little imaginary grid. And I can now tackle that a quarter at a time. I might tackle just this section. So I might just go, I might just come up here and put a little quarter mark and I'll put another little mark here. I'll put a little mark here, and I'll put a little mark there. And if I step back, you can see I've made these little these little quarter marks on my on my canvas, right? I'm just going to draw quite loosely. Um, you notice that 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 this that this line here comes from the corner. It comes from like in from the corner, and it makes its way down to this quarter mark here. Yeah, got to notice things like see this see my line here. So this is my halfway this is my halfway across and halfway down. And then I notice this little peak here is to the left of that line. And it's above there. It's about half about a bit less than halfway up. You've got you've got to really pay attention to those kind of things. That that it's those little proportions that help you map this out. Okay. I'm sort of look at I'm holding this right back here, so I'm really nice and loose. Now I'm going to just I'm just going to keep keep going. Really. There's really no there's no real science to this. It's just it's just getting everything in. And uh, you know, there's lots of dust coming off the charcoal. I'm using the willow charcoal, and you'll notice that canvas is quite abrasive. Can you see what it's doing to the charcoal? It's it's sharpening. It's almost like it's it's almost like it's sharpening the, the 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 charcoal, and you know, just be just be quite loose with it. You don't, you're not trying to, you're not trying to do anything super realistic. Remember, this is um, going to be quite an abstract work anyway. So it's really not that difficult to do. It's going to be quite. I, I think it's really, really honest drawing is what I would call it. 
when you draw, because you're not drawing, you're not drawing a tree and you're not drawing a river and you're not drawing a nose or an eye, you know, you're drawing the shapes that you see on your, on your drawing and you're transferring them to the canvas. All right, let's get back from this. Okay, there's my image. I'll, I'll pick this up. So there's my image there. There's my quarter. Remember, I'm doing a quarter of my drawing, and there it is there. Look. Too easy. All right, so now I go, I pick this up, and I go, all right, let's just pick this up, turn it over, and draw the next quarter there. And again, I'm going to put these little marks in like this. Just, look, your work's done for you because see this curve line here? It's right on the halfway mark. So I come up to my canvas. Oh, and there's this diagonal. Look, this diagonal comes all the way down to that halfway mark. So I'm going to do that right now. I'm going to lay in a really light little line. And there they are. There's, so, so there's, if I can get this back a bit, there's that line there. And then down is this line here, and then down. It's like a puzzle that you put together. This line here, and there's that little pointy bit just there. That, 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 that's got to go in. Like, that's going to be really important to my composition. I, I, I get a bit excited now when I draw, when I draw like this because it's just so, you, you really feel the artwork coming together. There it is. It's just so nice. Um, now I might swap charcoals. So I might use this charcoal now because this charcoal really, you know, this is the business. There's another type of compressed charcoal that you've been given. So there's the willow charcoal. There's this hard charcoal with a white, white writing on it. it. This charcoal came out of that tin, right? This charcoal came out of this red box. And it's the super, super, look, look, look what it's doing to my fingers. It's the super soft one. This charcoal is, is the real serious one. This is the real dark one. Okay, this is the biggest end of charcoals. Um, you know, it's the hot chili sauce of charcoal, let's call it that. Anyway, I'm going to keep drawing, but um, as you can see, right, so half my there. there, and there it is there. Remembering that this is the sectioned off, you know, using my window frame, of my drawings and my sculpture, right? So, so, yeah, there it is just there, right? So there's my, there's my, um, there's my drawings and my sculpture, and um, there's my drawings and my sculpture. I've got the window frame over it, then I'm using the L-shaped bit of paper, to section it off into quarters, which I then quarter again and get it onto the canvas. Now I'm just going to get on with it now and I'll, I'll come back when it's all drawn up in charcoal, in sections. Just do it in four sections. One, two, three, four. All right, um, a little stain on my fingers. <laughs> um, I've just put some water on trying to wash it off, but look, there's my, there's my drawing. And there's my canvas. I'll just get right back on it. So you can see it, but there's my canvas. Now, if you can get to that stage, um, just with charcoal, that, that's it. Now, you, what you'll notice is that um, it does get quite messy. So if we have a look down here, that's all charcoal dust. And have a look at the floor. So you have to put a drop sheet down, okay? Right. Like that section there, that section there, is that section there. It's not going to be exactly right. Each time we do this, the image is changing. I'm just sort of trying to find corresponding parts in the drawing. That, that bit there, which almost looks insect-like, is this thing here. Now, you know, when I say things like that, when I say, oh, this looks like a landscape, or, you know, that's quite insect-like, I guess that's one of the things about abstract art is, is that things kind of suggest things, but they're not really exactly the thing. So if I say that's insect-like, it's not exactly an insect. It just reminds me of an insect. And that's, that's, 
that's fine because it's all based in the landscape. You know, insects are, pr are in the landscape. Horizon lines are everywhere. But there's horizon lines right through this. But I'm actually not going to go, there's the sky and there's the land. That's not going to happen. You know, I might actually, might be a good time. Let's look at this sign on. Let's, let's flip this painting around. It's, you know, it's a, it's a, it's becoming something abstract. In fact, if I go the other way, I'm just going to turn it around. Have a go at doing this sort of thing where you, where you, where you, you flip things. Oh, look at that. That's getting a bit interesting. Anyway, I wanted to do this one too, because this one is quite interesting. Yeah, nice. It's got like this, this fat body down through the middle here. Um, there's all sorts of little possibilities coming up and but when I when I put it this way I kind of feel like I need a line somewhere around there Just to balance it. It's a bit out of balance. It's a bit when I land on the side. It's a bit vertical It looks like a chicken pulled open. Have you ever done that with a raw chicken? You know, there's all sorts of possibilities emerging here, but I might go back to my original Original um, thing here but um, even still I feel like it might need some kind, I want to bring out this vertical here. I want to bring that vertical happening more. Have you noticed I'm not saying, oh, that's a tree or that's a sky or that's a, an animal. I'm talking about lines, verticals, directions, horizontals. Um, so and I'm just, and, and a really good thing is to turn the charcoal while you, while you draw. If you, if you draw, you get a line like that, right? But if you turn the charcoal, you get this wriggly line. So I'm, I'm kind of just gonna, I'm just gonna suggest a bit of a, I don't know, I feel like I, I, feel like I need a, a broken line. So I might then, you know, pick it up further down. I might leave it there and, and see if that's an effect. I wish I sort of was good enough feeling to do. I um, remembered that there's some of you have got two canvases so I've jumped in here and I've done two I'll just get back a bit here you can see that I've done two um, so let's pretend I'm the, I'm the person who's now doing the two smaller canvases they're pretty they're, they're the same size if we if we um, remember that if we if we put both canvases over the top of over the top of the um, the larger canvas, they're this. Oh, they work really well together, don't they? Um, they, they, they're you know they're the same. They're the same size, right? Two canvases are the same as one big one. Uh, what I'm doing is, I've got my drawing here, right? Remember, I talked about these two drawings. I was going to put them together. Have a look at my book. I've made two, and I've made this little sticky tape hinge, so. So there's painting number one. There's painting number one there. And that painting is right. That painting there. Got it. Yeah. Turn it around. Is, take note of it, that painting there. Okay, so there it is there. And there's it drawn up. And then what I do is I just flip this over and flip the other one in hey and there's my other one right there that's painting number two which is painting number two there see it Ta -da. I'm gonna go ahead now and um, add the white paint to it and do all the water and the white paint and all that sort of stuff and I'll I'll uh, I'll see you in a sec well a few minutes <laughs> 